Hi guys, raining out here or out there. Um, just come in here because I've had several people suggest to me that I should have a go at making an atmosphere powered car like what Tom Stanton has just done. He uses a syringe and connects it up to a rather nice uh, printed car that he's made. 3D printed. So I thought, well, what can I do? I've got this rubber band powered car here that I made a little while ago, although I don't think the videos are actually published yet. So you'd have to look at my other channels to see that one going. Uh, put a rubber band on it, that channel's called. There'll be a link in the video description. But I went and had a look. I've got quite a few of these because a long time ago I was going to do one of those um, robotic things where you have quite a few of these moving a robotic arm. Never got round to it. So I shall open that. Can't do it with one hand. Attach it to this. Put a bit of cotton on it. Attach that to the back wheel and see how far we can get this one to go. Well, if you can hear me over the rain, I've glued the syringe onto the front um, cross member, melted a hole through the handle, attached a bit of kite string, and then at this end I've got a little spike or T-piece on my axle, so I can connect that on there and wind it up. So what we need to do at this end is actually seal the um, inlet. And somewhere or other, oh yeah, I've got this bit of um, tubing which will fit over there. So what I'll do is I'll fold it over, wrap some string around that tight to make it a good seal. So that'll be a sealed, a sealed seal. And I'll put that over there to seal it. Right, so if I pull that, it goes back in. Uh, Interesting enough, where I've tied it on, there is actually a little bit of a point just there. But thats I don't think that's going to matter for the purpose of what we're going to try here. I think what's most likely to happen is I'm going to get wheel spin. I don't know. Whoa, look how much that's bending that axle. <laughs> There's an awful lot of power involved there. I think I might have to revisit this with a different axle. We'll have a go like this first, but I think it's probably going to be misleading. It might even be the stretch in this kite string that's doing the work. Well, I, I don't think it stretches much, but also there's the bend in this axle. I've got a steel axle here, so I may swap them over in a minute. But we'll give this a try. <laughs> Can you see that? The actual... Um... Hang on, let's see if we can show you. We've only moved about an eighth of an inch in the barrel of the syringe there. But we've got all that tension in that axle, so I think this may be completely misleading. <laughs> yeah, been cleaning the floor. Oh, we did about four meters there, but I don't know whether that was that thing moving that tiny little bit or just the flex in the whole system. So I better change that axle. <laughs> well, 
This time the axle was strong enough that we actually broke the kite string tight tensioning it. So I'll have to get some different kite string now. Right, we've upgraded to ordinary string. Uh, I'm not sure how straight this will go because I've twisted it a bit so I've pulled it up. You can see how much we've got uh, on the syringe. I was trying to think of a better word for it. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, we didn't go very straight. But it did work. What would be really nice would be to stick a camera just here so we can see that moving. Either that or I'll have to walk in front of it I suppose. Right, I'll try running backwards. I haven't got very many turns around the axle there. So, let's see how we go. We did the full distance, the majority of that was freewheeling, but we did achieve what we set out to do. It was powered by atmosphere. We pull that out, that reduces the pressure inside the syringe and the atmospheric pressure pushes the plunger in and it worked. I wonder if we can go back the other way. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Right, that's in the right place. Ready to run backwards. And now we're freewheeling. Yeah, well, it works. So that's Tom Stanton's atmosphere powered car. He's doing all is all 3D printed and nice lightweight and very pretty looking. There'll be a link in the video description to his video. You won't be able to see this rubber band powered car for a little while yet. I can't remember what day that one's due to be published but there'll be a link in my video description to my other channel. My put a rubber band on it channel where that's just dedicated to things made or powered by rubber bands. So, cars and boats and that sort of thing. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.